many of our ELs here in the in in the high schools who have been here less than three years are extremely frustrated and may not even want to be in the United States. For a lot of students, if they cannot connect what we're doing in class to their real life, they're not, they're disinterested. Math is challenging for a lot of students. Um, and I think part of it is because of just that vocabulary piece and just understanding what the question is asking before they can even get to the process of answering the question. I had a student that the science passage talked about to drain something or strain something and she's like, what is that? So it's like vocabulary that's not necessarily academic vocabulary they didn't understand. We have approximately 17 middle schools and uh, two high schools. We have a high percentage of low socioeconomic students, a large population of ELLs who are eager to learn. Being with kids all the time is always fun. They're always joking around, it's a good time. I want them to walk out of Young Women's Leadership Academy, accepted to a four-year university, and that they have the scholarship money to pay for it. Our district is supporting our English language learners by allowing us to implement positive learning. Positive learning is a program that helps all students, I don't think it's just our ELLs, with math vocabulary that gives them situations they can relate to. There are students who, when they're reviewing things for an exam, then they'll say, oh yeah, I remember that from the video, and the video would be the positive learning piece. We were taking Cornell notes, and I asked, well, what do you think median means? And I had a little girl shoot her hand up with excitement and was like, it's something to do with the quartile. It has something to do with the middle because I heard it, you know. And, she, and I said, where did you hear that? And she goes, from our positive learning yesterday. And after positive learning, she raised her hand. And it was about compound probability. And she answered the question that I asked. And it was great to see her answer. And I mean, I even saw other students look at her like, she actually like said something, so I can tell that she felt confident enough to answer my question. It was a tool they felt that helped versus, oh, here, try this. If you can reach them and you touch their hearts, these kids are going to be successful. And that's what positive learning allows to occur in the classroom. Positive learning is also based on ELPS. So ELPS and the TEKS are vertically aligned and along with the lesson plans, uh, I know Positive Learning has tailored their primers according to our lesson frames. I love to hear them say, I used to hate math, I used to think it was hard, but now it's so much fun, I love it, it's easy, I understand it. Our students feel safe and they're engaged. Without a doubt, the Positive Learning is an amazing tool for students to get them to understand that academic vocabulary, to get them to the point that they can get to the content and master the content. I would have no hesitations with recommending positive learning to a colleague.